Hey guys, Desler Magic here, and I am absolutely pissed while also not being all that surprised. So apparently today was the ban announcement for Standard, and I mean the ban announcement. They have limited themselves, unless they go back on it, which they absolutely could, to banning cards in Standard once per year. The rotation is August 2nd, so I actually thought that the ban announcement was supposed to be in August, but I, I guess they moved it, or I just gave them more credit for having a functioning brain than they do? I don't know. But first, a quick announcement about something that people actually care about. My gaming channel. I'm now converting it into a gaming channel. Uh, if you're on my Discord, which, uh, you know, buck a month minimum on Patreon, you can get on my Discord. Uh, you might have noticed I put some links. I'm converting it into a gambling gaming channel. Now, I'm not, like, pro-gambling. You guys know how I play in casinos. It's tilted heavily in my favor, or I don't touch it. I'm very against gambling, so I think somebody to make a channel like that and promote responsibility and stuff like that, yeah. Like, there's a new channel really popping off called Gambling Smart, and they're just absolutely blown up because people want to know how to not get completely wrecked in a casino. And I'm a professional download dirty AP player, so uh, that's a match made in heaven. But uh, right now we're just doing educational stuff, how to play games, how to play them properly, that kind of stuff. I think by 2026 I might be the number one uh, gambling channel because these low-effort dumb boomers who don't have editors, their audio is trash, and they're always out of focus. I think I can do better than that. So go check it out, it's just Desolator Gaming, uh, if you are interested in that kind of content. And it is going to be very comedy oriented, by the way. We've already got some skits, it, it's going to be outrageous. I just got to find a casino that'll let me film there, so I'm working on it. But hey, back to the wonderful news that I'm so delighted and excited about. So let me just summarize their reasoning for not banning anything in standard, because, you know, spoiler alert, that's what they did. Well, we don't know what's going to happen in August after a third of the cards rotate out, so we can't ban anything because we don't know what standard will look like. See you next year! Do you see a logical fallacy in that, you absolute morons? Holy crap. So right now, standard is at least competitive standard. You can play casual with your friends, which I would recommend. Nobody is touching this at FNM, despite the fact that Watsy says, and I quote, we're seeing more diversity in strategy across the standard metagame and more players are playing the format in the local gaming stores. I guarantee that is a bold-faced lie. They're not just exaggerating or counting wrong. They are literally lying about that or the stores are lying about their statistics. I don't know which and I don't care. That is not true. Nobody, nobody plays Standard Constructed anymore because if you play the number one most unbeatable deck right now against me, I'm going to punch you in the damn face. All board wipes, three color control with scry, and all you do is dump man lands onto the field and then attack me on your turn and then they hide behind the I'm not a creature anymore during my turn. How the hell am I supposed to blow that up without land destruction or instant speed attack stopping? And the whole time I don't get to play my damn deck because they'll just counterspell anything or board wipe it. Wow, I wonder, has this ever happened before? Oh yeah, that last time that it happened is the last time it happened. And they didn't learn from that either. And then we've got the number one card that needs to be banned above all else, Urbrask's Forge. They didn't feel like taking action against it. Does it rotate out in August? I have no f***ing idea and I don't care. Huh, unlimited tokens that get bigger while you do nothing, pay nothing, and trade nothing that also have trample in red. Hmm, what could be the problem with that, I wonder. So you need to run enchantment destruction and land destruction or you lose to those two decks. Wow, what a fun and diverse format. Oh boy. And I love deck building when the complexity and list of cards I have to consider for my deck went up by over a thousand. That's like my favorite thing to do ever is consider a thousand new cards and take even longer to build a deck and then not be allowed to play it because somebody has board wipes every third turn. Wow, fun. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Thumbs up on the video if you're having fun. So here's what these idiots wrote. It has been one year since we changed standards rotation time from two years to three. Okay, they did it because they wanted not everybody to leave Arena at once because the game's dying. In case you're wondering, because everybody would have been like, oh, wow, all 10 of my decks just got invalidated. Okay, I'm just going to give up. I, I'm not going to get out my credit card and give you 100 bucks. Screw you. Uh, this time around, they're, they're sticking to it. So their Arena player count is about to go down the toilet. I think they'll be bankrupt within about two years. They're going to run out of things that people give a crap about to, to tie in as far as IPs. And uh, yeah, then that's the end for them. But yes, people play Commander. Wow, buying one copy of a card instead of four copies of it? That, that sounds like a great business model. Very durable. And you have to power creep past 31 years of cards instead of just three years of cards tops. Realistically, too. Fantastic business model. Keep it up. Good job. So anyway, these morons go on to say, that change was the first step in our renewed goal to revitalize tabletop standard. 
Uh huh. This change has produced many of the desired results. We're seeing more diversity and strategy across the standard metagame. Well, not in the top yarn. And uh, more players are playing the format in their local gaming stores. 100% false statement there, in my opinion. Uh, in last year's article, we outlined that the time before the release of the Somerset Bloomborough would be when we uh, look to make changes to the standard format. And everybody told them, you're a bunch of morons. Oh, shit, the Oilers just scored. Let's go. I got a lot of money on this game. Five bucks. But I bet it in April, so it pays 11 to 1, damn it. I want my 65 bucks. Anyway, commander players, here, here's how it works. Okay, you self-police what you think is an appropriate level of fun and competitiveness. You know, if you want to win on turn two with a bunch of, like, ridiculous glass cannon combo trash, then that's on you. You want to just tutor the same combo every single time when it's a 99 plus one singleton format, the point of which is that the deck plays differently every single time. Good luck. Y'all got to get bored after about a month, okay? that That's not a friends group. That's that's a group of idiots who tolerate each other. You aren't going to play that for five years, okay? And once you're already winning on turn two, it, what the hell? What, what's the point? So even in highly competitive multiplayer, you're only going to power ramp so far before you think, okay, this just isn't fun. And then you say, guys, let's just rebuild our decks. Or you just break up and stop playing. You, you go play something else. So the whole highly competitive, oh, look at this new card. This is the new card that everybody needs. This is the new card that's super high powered. This is the new must-have card in Commander. That doesn't work. It's not a durable strategy because people who subscribe to that, instead of just playing the same damn deck they've been running for 10 years and buy one card every three months for it, maybe, that doesn't result in your company being able to survive. By the way, they banned nothing in Commander because who even gives a shit? You police it your damn self. So the whole point of playing Commander is that we don't have to buy all the stupid shit that Watsy keeps releasing. So them saying, ooh, Commander is doing better than ever. We got so many active players. What is your definition of an active player? In fact, forget that term. What's your definition of an active customer? Is it somebody who walks in the door and gives you money for your product? Because if so, you don't have any of those. They left. They're all gone. They're all playing Elden Ring. Hell, I'm playing the Pokemon, whatever the hell third gen is, Emerald. I got a copy of Witcher 3 like three years ago. I haven't pulled that shit open yet. I think I want to play that over uh, MTG. Hell yeah, I do. It's a better designed game. You know what I did today instead of playing Magic the Gathering? I took a day off of work to go to the dentist, okay? that That's more enjoyable than playing Magic the Gathering. Also, we ceramic coated my car and it's like 81 degrees out and I'm not supposed to sweat. So uh, yeah, it's, it, was, it was a pleasant day overall. Very enjoyable. Still better than playing up against <laughs> board wipe, <laughs> exile, <laughs> board wipe with a Phyrexian card on top of it. <laughs> I beat you again. Uh, you're not allowed to play your deck. Uh, why are you roping me? That's not fair. I'm going to spam emotes. Wah. I'd rather tase myself in the balls than play standard constructor right now. Except for the fact that my candy cane deck just tears people apart on turn three and that is funny as shit to me that will never stop being entertaining damn it magic is in the worst state it has ever been by far and those of you who played around i want to say 0809 might differ on that but look at like why people are leaving what they're having to do to just maintain the status quo and look like three percent growth and tell me that that's better than a perfectly recoverable situation yeah i know hindsight is 2020 uh, but that they had before with like, what was it, like Cobblade or whatever? Nah, 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 we're in the slump. Th this is not recoverable. There's nobody working there smart enough or willing enough to do something about this to fix it. The people running it, if they could make it so that your cards disintegrated after being out in the open air for 30 days, they would do it. While also shaming you for being white and a male and straight. Let me just remind you, that's the assholes currently running the game right now, okay? So jumping back into this gaslighting garbage, uh, in last year's article, we outlined that the time before the release of the Somerset Bloomborough, which is coming out of what most people consider to be fall, uh, would be when we'd look to make changes to the standard format. We talked about ban uh, how banning events are an easy exit point from the format. Well, if somebody quits over their stupid overpowered net deck not being able to be played anymore, good f***ing riddance. You are not a positive thing for the community. Get the hell out. No, I just want free overpowered wins. I only want to run overpowered crap. And then also I want nobody else to be able to run it. I hate mirror matches. I should just be able to win. Wow, what a valuable member of the community that we can't afford to lose. Yep. Mm-hmm. Today we are choosing not to ban any cards leading up to this year's rotation. The format looks very healthy as a whole. It absolutely does not and many of those cards that we would uh, be worried about post-rotation lose considerable strength 
I know we're losing Arcade Bombardment. I don't even want to check if we're losing Urabrask's Forge or not, because I'm pretty sure we're not, and I'm pretty sure that pisses me off. Well, maybe August 2025, they'll finally get rid of the card. Hmm, can't wait. So their goal is to have a more consistent and stable management of the format. By not doing anything to it. Okay, yeah, cool, great. That That is management 101. Just ignore the problem and maybe it'll go away. Uh-huh. We consider banning a few cards with attracts a grand unifier. Oh, that's a funny way to spell that stupid f***ing seven cost red dinosaur that free casts both players' decks. Wow, that, that's a funny way to spell it. And Knight Errant of Eos. What the hell is even that card? I have literally never seen anybody play that card ever. You've got to be kidding me. Knight Errant of Eos better be a internal working nickname for Urbrask's Forge, you absolute morons. So those two were the leading candidates. I'll be honest with you, Traxa, I don't have trouble beating that card, just blow it away, dies to removal, haha, ha, wink wink. It's really flippin' annoying, but I, I don't care. Those two cards are not the problem, and if you can't see that the other two are, then you're morons. Maybe they both rotate, I don't know. Why don't you wait till rotation, see what people are playing, and then ban cards? Wouldn't that make more sense, you morons? Here's the line that everybody is roasting on social media. It is difficult to predict what exactly will happen after each rotation. We may see the cards break out in other decks and strategies, but we are happy as long as the metagame continues to evolve. So they're going to keep power creeping it, undercut the decks. The rotation doesn't mean anything because you're going to have to replace your deck every three months anyway. Yep, they're, they're being pretty transparent. They're, they're tilting their hand a little bit on this one. Continues to evolve. You tell me what you think that means if you think I'm wrong. Come on. So Atraxa has been a constant presence in the metagame as the headliner card and do uh, domain ramp strategies. Yeah. And sometimes it can be too much to overcome after it's resolved. It dies to removal or I just like trample past it with double strike. Whatever. I just got to settle on the fact that I'm smarter than most players. I've been at this a long time. I actually build decks and my deck is the number one in the world right now as far as win rate. I don't care if anybody's playing it but me. That's their problem, not mine. I know my win rate, I know my place in the meta, I know that I can beat tier 1, and I know that the deck's virtually unstoppable. I also know that most of it's rotating. So, if I can't find one viable deck and it's just going to be a bunch of man land board white bullshit, I'm done playing standard. So, with rotation, get this, those strategies lose the tri-lands from Streets of New Capenna. They really think the mana base is going to clean that up. Really? Oh, they'll have a difficult time getting Domain. Who gives a shit? Not one card in the damn deck says Domain on it. It's land dump cast overpowered shit. It has nothing to do with the land types. Not one card in it. So that will rein in the deck's overall power level. And if they're wrong, we get to have standard unplayable for a year. Oops. Boros Convoke has always been a solid choice in the metagame. Yeah, sure. If you don't know how to play my deck that wins on turn three consistently. Sure. Uh-huh. So on MTG Arena, it's high frequency. I, I think I've literally never seen it, but okay. Uh, we are happy with the existence of a tokens aggro deck, but uh, sometimes its opening draws can be too difficult to beat too early into the game. Have you seen my deck? <laughs> with rotation, it loses Volder and Epicure. That actually is huge. With Which is a crucial card in its ability to play uh, that night that I've never seen anybody play. On the second turn, holy shit. <laughs> Uh, it's turn of the game after casting Gleeful Demolition? Not one time ever have I seen this, and I'm in Diamond 1 at the moment. I assume somebody's playing it, but no. More general, safe, balanced White Red Rush is what people are playing. And anybody with half a brain is playing my Candy Cane deck. Go look it up in the decklist playlist. That deck is literally unbeatable. There is nothing you can do other than build a pure assassin deck that will take it out specifically. So that's it. That's the end of the statement. Then they say, uh, Pioneer was seeing a flood of results in deckless stream in from Pioneer Regional Championship qualifiers, and it's a mixed bag, blah, 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 whatever, who cares? So um, they're keeping a, a close eye on Amalia, the stupid Ward 3 life, gain a life, get to 20, and blow the whole game up or whatever card. But nobody cares because nobody plays uh, Pioneer. Uh, modern, nobody plays Modern, so who cares? Oh, and then they, they said, yeah, hey, MH3 came out, so uh, <laughs> talk to you later on that one. There has never been a Horizon set that didn't result in, I want to say, multiple bands? For sure one each. For sure. I want to say multiple each. So they're, they're, they want to let you know. They're just waiting on that one. But uh, yeah, Ruby Medallion, Ral, Nadu, uh, Ajani, Soren, 
Yeah, a lot, a lot of them are on the chopping block. So if you play those, wh why are you even playing modern? What, what's wrong with you? Legacy, who cares? Vintage, who cares? Vintage is literally one sentence. So I'll just paraphrase it as who cares? They clearly don't. Alchemy. Nobody plays it according to their own numbers. I'm not even going to read it. Brawl, here we go. Brawl players picked up many new tools in Modern Horizons 3, but it doesn't matter because matchmaking is rigged. There you go. All right. Fantastic. Uh, historic. I actually forgot what that is. Whatever. Who cares? Um, timeless. This is hilarious. I've been warned about this one. I didn't read this ahead of time, but I saw some comments about this. If Historic picked up some new toys with Modern Horizons 3, Timeless got a whole toy box dumped on it. <laughs> yeah, because you wanted to sell the set. Even though you can't even play MH3 on Arena, really. They added it anyway. I guess it's legal and brawl, whatever. And, and Timeless, which is their bullshit attempt at like an eternal format. Nobody plays it. So uh, we're seeing big shakeups to the format, including both the expected surge of Rakdos decks, sure to inspire fury and grief on their opponents. Ha ha ha, really funny, yeah. People hate that deck. But also a host of new decks. Older formats like show and tell and domain are still around, but in lower numbers. So in other words, we're aware that we're power ramping it. We're not going to hit the brakes anytime soon. So why ban stuff when everything's still up in the air? There's logic to it, but my God, is that some dark humor on their part? Uh, there's a lot going on in Timeless right now. None of it is remotely fair. I am not kidding. They wrote that sentence. Let, let me reread that for you. There's a lot going on in Timeless right now. None of it is remotely fair, but so far it all seems fairly balanced. How did that get past the editors? Because that's exactly how I feel about everything right now. It's all so utterly broken and out of control on a power level. Holy shit, what's even going on? Fine. Like, why why rock the boat in the middle of a hurricane? What is that even going to do? You won't even notice. Wait till you guys see Bloomborough. What well, that's going to do to the power level? That's actually going to be a really low-powered set from what I heard. But anyway, uh, there is a very high bar for restriction in Timeless. That's right, they don't ban. And nothing is threatening in that way. So it's the new legacy. It's anything goes and you play it if you're a moron. Oh, vintage, I meant to say. And then Explorer. MTG Arena continues to match Explorer card bans with Pioneer. End of statement. Thanks, Andrew Brown and Dave Finseth, two people I have never heard of. Holy shit, who even works there right now? Did somebody have the day off? I have literally never heard of either of these people in my entire life. Well, anyway, this whole announcement is completely f***. Get ready for Standard to be a pile of steaming shit for the rest of the year and well into 2025 because they have assured us in possibly a legally enforceable way that they will not do anything about it no matter how bad it gets. So, um, awesome! See you guys next time.